Hello YouTube, Hylians, followers, and friends. I am Blue Flame Prince, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, where today we are continuing celebrating Zelda Month, and in the last episode we ended up getting the bow and arrow, in which I am now wasting all the arrows for this intro, and we ended up getting through the Eastern Palace and afterwards we talked to the old man, or Sahasarala, <laughs> however you wish to pronounce his name. It's the old man that's just farther down in this place down here. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we ended up getting the Pegasus boots. Or, I guess in this case, the Pegasus shoes. Which I don't really imagine Link wearing any actual shoes besides boots. Anyways, in this episode, I am planning on going to the witch's hut to go pick up the magic powder that we left. Well, we left the mushroom and we're going to pick up the magic powder. And because we max amount, we maximized our rupees. I'm going to see if it's possible to go to Zora's River to get the flippers. Although I'm not sure if we can actually get there right yet. But, yeah, so we're going to be heading up here. And if we are not able to get the flippers, we will be heading to Kakariko Village. Yeah. Can't move that yet. So we will be heading to Kakariko Village to pick up the Book of Medora and then heading down to the desert, I believe. Um. Maple? Is that you? I've just realized. Okay, so normally, in the other versions, there's a different person here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the magic powder, since that's gonna help us. But it looks like this is Maple from the Oracle games. I mean, I guess it could be the one, the witch from Link Between Worlds, um, Irene or something like that. I may have that wrong. I mean... Anyways, it's supposed to be like a cloaked person. But... It reminds me of how Maple looks in the Oracle games. I mean, I guess that could just be me. But while we're here as well, since we have the money, I'm gonna pick up a blue potion. And probably a green one, since, you know, we have the money for it. But yeah, I swear that looks like maple from the Oracle games. Ow. Leave me alone. Face arrow. Take an arrow to the knee. Or the face. That was pretty good. Um, took down this last bush. We have to keep up with Link's um, lawn more um, lawn care business. All these bushes in Hyrule getting overgrown. Okay, so anyways, we will be. Heading to Kakariko Village now. And, hang on. There was something here. I believe there was like a heart piece or something here. Nope. Hello, goodbye. Okay, well, that was slight ways. Because I wanted to get the flippers because you can... Going to those whirlpools takes you around Hyrule. Hmm. 
want to just run past all these guys. Arrow to the face. Alright, so since we are back here, I believe there are two things that we can actually get. Um, I think that was something in here, or was this the guy that just says his lawn's just overgrown? I mean, I, mean, I guess that's kind of obvious, is that his lawn is overgrown? Okay, yes, that's a nice story. Um, I have places to go, people to see, books to knock off shelves. So it should be, yep, looks a little bit different than what I remember. Anyways, we have the Book of Medora now, and we can learn the ancient language of Hylia, which we for what I can always remember is that it's like the book that you would see from Gabora has within Skyward Sword and the book that Shad talks about um, within Twilight Princess. Fifteen seconds? I can do that. Oops. And kind of went a little bit slow there, but was still able to get the heart piece. But anyways, I hope all of you are still have enjoying this. Uh, no, I am. What was in here? Ooh. Time to try it out. 20 rupees. Sounds fair. I have some rupees to spare. Got our money back. Money. Rupees well spent. Let's try again. Okay. Um. One more try. First time it was this one. Second time it was this one. Let's try this one. Imagine that. I feel like it's going down in a row, so next time it may be this one? I mean, we're striking out even right now. I, I just want to see what happens if see if that's correct. I mean, if I am correct, then get 20 rupees in this one. Not an arrow. Ah, 50 rupees! Um, yay! I mean, I, I was wrong, but 50 rupees! Okay, I think we can kind of move on from there now. Hey, ow. You hurt. Arrow to the face. Money. He has the flute. And he has the power to disappear. We actually need the, the shovel for that. Anyways. Ok, 
getting rid of all these salesmen. Because we're getting close to the house. Last time I remember they wanted to talk to Uncle. Uncle always told me not to talk to strangers. And of course Uncle is letting all these bushes grow. We need to take care of our yard. Uncle, you in here? Uncle? I'm guessing he may be st still at the hospital? Don't worry, Uncle. I still have rupees um, to replace those jars. You do not have to go and replace them. These bushes grow by back fast. I'm not going to worry about all of them for now. We didn't want to buy any of your products. Please leave. Ow. Ow. Okay, time to use the boots. So yeah, if we actually had the gloves, we could go to the Zora's River. Um... The guy who doesn't speak. But then we also have these hidden passages here. What was in here? Hi. Sure, why not? But we are now getting down to the desert. Now with the Book of Medora and the Master Sword, we can get, I think, Bombos? Or is that Quake? I think Bombos. Because you get, I believe you get Quake in the Dark World near Zor where Zora's River is. If I'm not mistaken, there's another old guy up here. You have the Book of Medora. Can you read the ancient language? Hang on. Can you read the ancient language of the Hylian people? Aren't we Hylian? Is that real? Am I really gonna have to use a bomb? Okay, fine. If running into things don't help, blow it up. There's a chest. And another heart piece. Yay! Okay. So that old man didn't really help, but we got a heart piece in return. Take out the Book of Medora. Dodge the Sand people. Stab one of the Sand guys. And here we are. Hocus Pocus in Alakazoo. Something along those lines. Is that really the language of the ancient um, Hylians? Looks like hyro hieroglyphics. Anyways, we are now at the desert temple. Okay, well, the desert palace. But really, I think I'm going to leave it off here for now. And so... Yeah. I'm going to leave it off here for now. In the next episode, we will make it through the Desert Palace. And I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to leave a like or a comment below. If you wish to see more video game related videos, do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more Zelda related videos. Don't forget to go and check out my other channel, The Hyrule Historian. Links in the description. And 
Happy Zelda month, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching, and later.